not sure I understand your interest. And I'm not sure I do either. I beg your pardon. You feel the need for spiritual guidance, Angus? I felt you might. Well, let's say curiosity, Father. Meet Baron Cimitaire. I'm delighted. Fashioned in hell, ready to spew fire and brimstone. His eyes offer no hope, only an evil confidence. With the world queuing at the graveyards, he should. I do not confuse him with death. The gentleman with the sickle harvests for the eternal glory of God. This one works for the devil. And us occasionally. I'd uh, like you to have a look at these, taken during the last five years. What's wrong with him? A zombie, a man without a soul, the work of a hungan. A what? A hungan, a high priest of voodoo. Unbelievable in this day and age. Yes, to us. Those on whom it works do believe. The Hoongans simply exploit fear. So much so that they can practice every form of tyranny. As in Haiti under Papa Dog. This came from Haiti. I worked there for a number of years. It's supposed to contain a man's life force. And once the spell has been cast by a Hoongan and the victim has been warned, he can be killed simply by sticking a pin in any vital organ. The heart, the head, the jugular. And death can be induced simply by destroying a tiny part of the victim's body. A piece of skin, a lock of hair, nail clippings. And if the victim doesn't believe? Everyone has a sense of the supernatural. We're all born with it. <laughs> island of St. Peter, people have gathered to celebrate the second anniversary of independence. Today, President Newstead will ratify the new economic treaty, granting St. Peter favored nation status with the USA and Europe. Waiting to greet President Newstead is Colonel Holyoke, State Security Chief, and General Cornelius, Army Chief of Staff. Don't you feel well, sir? like the other two. Well, hardly. Lloyd suffocated, Trench drowned. Heart attacks caused by fear. But what generated the fear? Shouldn't you ask who? No, we think we know who. Local? Obviously. But attached to the apron strings of a major power. Voodoo's not the opposition's line. Perhaps they're getting more sophisticated. Then they'd use nerve gas or drugs. That's what the Americans think. They've not been able to prove a thing. Hence my crash course with Father Emerson. You should know by now that I don't like my executives naked in a red sector. Are you serious? More things in heaven and earth. 
At least the good father got that through to you. And if there is the remotest possibility... The point taken. When do I leave? Immediately. Controller? You'll be working with an American, Matilda Smith. A woman? What happened to the rule book? Cover? Economics advisor to the Confederation of British Industry. That should give you enough scope to poke your nose in almost anywhere. Name? Neil Conway. Mission code name? Exorcist. Who did you think it was? I was just about to call you. Huh. You okay? <sighs> One of those nights. What dragged you out of Washington? Your last report. I might have guessed. Chief blew his top. Look, Jim, whether you like it or not, voodoo exists. And at last, I've got some proof. I broke into Field's place tonight. Matilda, forget that job. The next victim. General Cornelius. I could have told you that the moment they got Newstead. In the attempt to be the all-American boy, you really have put the blinkers up, haven't you? I think you'd better get some rest. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. You have a hard day tomorrow. The British are sending in a guy. You're to work with him. The Americans have been too clever for their own good this time. They sent a Puerto Rican because she would blend into the scenery. You're forgetting our training. She'll be as susceptible as the rest. When one is born to voodoo, one lives by it until death. It has no lapsed believers. Uh, well, that I... Holyoke includes you and me. Well, I prefer a bullet. Short and sharp. Invites embarrassing questions. Precisely what we've been trying to avoid. I'll render her inoperative my way, don't worry. The Americans will still suspect foul play. They will assume she's another voodoo victim. They're not assuming that about Newstead. We shouldn't have killed him in full view of the whole world. I disagree. It was a stroke of genius. Look, the girl must have seen something. That's why she broke into your house. Okay, so they suspect us. But what can they prove? What can they say? That we are manipulating innate fears to eliminate pro-Western politicians? <laughs> Come on, Hollyoke. The smallest accusation of supernatural practices will make them a laughing stock. We're right on their doorstep. They could still move in. Rubbish. The Americans are very touchy about world opinion. 
justify their interference in the affairs of another country, they need a good excuse. All right. Later then, when the naval base open. By then, I'll be in power. A president is the elected representative of all his people. When he speaks, it is with their voice. If I allow Soviet ships to refuel, it will be the will of all our people. Which country in all conscience can deny that? Welcome to St. Peter, Mr. Conway. You had a good flight? Not bad. The golf club is concerned, it's business as usual. My daughter will show you your room later. You're staying here too? First floor. You're on the second. Through there is communications. I set the tape up, huh? Are you pulling her out? You've seen the reports? We could be facing the worst crisis since Cuba, and all she can give us is mumbo jumbo. Or perhaps you don't agree. Let's say I'm keeping an open mind. We share this with the National Security Agency, mainly to monitor radio and telephonic conversations in the area. We have to hook up with Langley in London so that both our firms can keep tabs. That TV screen is the usual authenticator for special briefings. Okay, Matilda. This is a video of the reception at which Newstead died. It provides a lot of answers. To what? I'll point out the relevant section when we get there. The president was always surrounded by mandrake men, Hollyoak's private army. They're all over the place. Is that Hollyoak? No, that's General Cornelius. That's him. Chief of State Security, caretaker president until the elections. Four weeks away. Is he standing? He's throwing his weight behind Field, another contestant. And his weight is quite considerable. There'll be no sitting on the fence. Hollyoaks' boys will be in every village making sure they vote his way. And then the result of the elections is a foregone conclusion. Field. Uh, it's certainly heading that way. That's Field. History? Obscure. Still being investigated. Settled in St. Peter about a year ago. Now owns several sugar plantations. Used to advise Newstead on economic matters. Quite a power in the army. What's his platform in the elections? Total isolation. Reasons? Purely selfish. Under the present economic treaty, the island sugar underwrites U.S. and European investments. Field doesn't want to tie down his sugar while there's a world shortage. General John Cornelius again, chief of staff. Known as a strong, silent man, West Point graduate, therefore U.S. orientated, and as far as we know, no political ambitions. <laughs> Sounds too good to be true. He could be the next victim. Uh, we'll save the discussions till after, shall we? Look, it all ties in. Look. I broke into Phil's place last night. He wants tangible facts. He'll get them. I found this. Matilda, roll the tape. Okay. We're coming up to Newstead's death now. Keep your eye on Field. You know, it's, it's the one of the camera caught it. But there. Phil's got a lock of hair in his hand. Newstead's. He dropped it onto an ashtray and then burnt it right there in front of Newstead's eyes. How do you know? I was there. A person's life force can be found in any and every part of his body. Destroy that part and you can destroy the person. That's the principle, right? That's what Phil did. How do you know it was Newstead's hair? 
must have been. Must have been? We'll go a long way on that piece of evidence. You can't really see what he's doing. I saw it. I saw the hair burning in the ashtray. It could have been any number of things. Cellophane off a pack of cigarettes. Put a match to that, you get the same kind of flair. How do I convince you? See what I'm up against. Bruce Gibbs, lead of the opposition. Could do a lot for the island as president. There are only two candidates. Mm -hmm. Just Field and Gibbs. Yeah, there was no one else left. Thank you. Gibbs is not on your list of suspects. More a victim, I'd say, after Cornelius. I suppose I'd better see if Cornelius has arrived. Yes, I think we should warn him. Oh, Colonel Holyoke. Neil Conway. Oh, yes, I've been wanting to meet you. I hear you yet to pass judgment on us. Hardly. Simply to meet a few people and discuss industrial development. Oh, well, we don't need your help. That wasn't the view of your late president. We live well enough in our sugar. Do you? I don't think you understand, you know, Mr. Conway. We neither want a wealthy society nor a godless one, merely a simple Christian existence. Are those your views, or do you speak for all the people of St. Peter? That is the policy that going to win the election for Mr. Field. You're ignoring the opinion polls. What happens in the day is all that counts. And before? I don't understand you. I don't think I understand you either. President Newstead's right-hand man supporting someone totally opposed to all he stood for. Found Cornelius? Not a sign. You feeling okay? Headache. Maybe some fresh air. I doubt it. Would you rather leave? I received a package. Come out with you. I'll show you outside. Okay. You must be Conway, the industrial expert. Gibbs, Bruce Gibbs. The leader of the opposition. Ah, but not opposed to you and what you'll do for St. Peter. Give him the chance. Meaning? I was hoping to fix an appointment to come and see you. And Colonel Hollyoak seems very confident that Mr. Field will win the election. Hollyoak, ignore him. His days are numbered. Oh? His methods are not wanted here. The people of this island want a liberal and developing economy. All the things that I and my party stand for. And they'll get them. And provided the elections aren't rigged. They won't be. Even if we have to put Holyoke in his grave. Like Newstead? If you mean, did we kill Newstead, the answer is no. But if you mean, would we kill Holyoke? The answer is yes, if need be. But if we do, we'll use our own special brand of magic. Which is? Enlightenment. <laughs> and that sounds like sense. We'll meet and talk again. I look forward to it. And uh, good luck. I'll win. You can depend on that. Ah, Mr. Conway. Mm, how do you do? I'm so glad you can accept my invitation, Joseph Field. My pleasure. Yes, it is. I can see that. You have an aura. Your whole being tells me that you speak the truth. An aura? We all have an aura. It takes perception to see it, but it's there. Yours is like a halo of a saint. I'm flattered. Do you mind if I offer you some advice? By all means. You may be in mortal danger, Mr. Conway. Why? You're no doubt aware strange things are happening. And you think something strange is going to happen to me? It's possible. Beware the eyes. Flippancy does not become you, Mr. Conway. It's a Philistine shield and not much of a protection. Against what? You stand for everything the people of this island need at least. Colonel Holyoke seemed to think so too. 
foreign investment leads to foreign interference. The people want to stand on their own feet and will seek any means to achieve their ends. Including the assistance of the devil? They use what methods they know best. I don't understand you, Mr. Field. That doesn't surprise me. What would you know of the evil forces here? Do you believe in hellfire and damnation? Not in the way the people of St. Peter seem to believe. That makes you the most perfect victim. Is that a threat? I wonder what would happen should reason desert you. It hasn't so far. Deep down in each of us, there's an irrational pagan struggling helplessly before the forces of darkness. What's going on? Where's Matilda? I can hear her. Someone sent her this. She must find the doctor. Don't go near Mr. Dante. She's possessed. Get out of my way. It's too late, I'm afraid. Over a dozen people out there looking for and nothing. At least we know who we're up against. Or do we? I agree that it has to be Field and Hollyoak, but how? They were inside the house the entire time. Hollyoak's bully boys. There were enough of those around. Still doesn't answer my question. It's all open ground and we were out there in less than 30 seconds. You never left her side. If it were nerve gas, explain how she was affected and you weren't. But I was. When Matilda was complaining about a headache, I could feel it too. Boy, I need a drink. I can't believe it, but somehow, by hypnosis or telepathic suggestion, they're twisting people's minds. That's an even wilder theory than voodoo. Uh, what about you? They are gone. We were overlooking the sea. A boat? They couldn't disappear that fast. They must have rigged the window. They made a very good job of it. I can't find anything. So where do we go from here? Did you find Cornelius? He didn't show. We must warn him. Where does he live? He has a cottage on the other side of the island. Now give me his address. I'll see him first thing. Mr. Conway, boss? Yes? I'm Charlie. Where to? General Cornelius Cottage. Give you a chance to see some of the island. Circular road goes right round the island. Old Maker go through a lot of trouble to make it perfect, eh? Tell me, Charlie, when did you last see Miss Matilda? Yesterday. She told me to have the car ready for Mr. Conway from this morning. She told me before she met you at the airport. Before? Was she expecting to be away? <laughs> Miss Matilda, she's so pretty. As Yuli Fueda send on many young bulls. Maybe she go out with one of them. Who's Azuli Fueda? Ah, she is the goddess of love. Is she? <laughs> Miss Matilda, she is one of us. She likes to kiss and cuddle. She likes to make love. You want her? Do you know where she is? I take you to see Priestess. She make magic. And Miss Matilda, she come to you special, like curry goat feed. Just find her for me, will you, Charlie? mandrake flower, otherwise known as Satan's Rose. What are you doing here? I was about to ask the same question. I was hoping to get General Cornelius' views on certain things. Indeed, then you will share my concern. About the General? I've been trying to contact him for days. There are certain things that I wish to discuss with him before the election, but he hasn't been in his office for well over a week. Cornelius has been got at, is that it? If the events of the past few months are anything to go by, most certainly, Mr. Goodbye. Conway. If I knew that, 
I would do something about it. And for example? You've seen our security force. Hollyoaks boys. They're highly efficient. And since Miss Smith's disappearance, I'm sure you will understand my concern for your safety. Tell me, since you left my house, has anything out of the ordinary happened? A broken window. Must have been a seagull. You are going to need your stiff upper lip, Mr. Conway. A broken window is highly symbolic. They're confident they can break you just as easily. I wish them luck. Oh, what a surprise. It's an effigy of General Cornelius. Just as I feared. What do you fear, Mr. Field? Try the old church at St. Paul's Point. I'll telephone Colonel Holyoke and ask him to meet you there. He may be of some assistance. Why the church? It's now a security block for the mentally disturbed. That's where they may have taken Cornelius. Charlie? Right here, Mr. Conway. Boss? You're not Charlie. Yes, I am. That's Charlie, Mr. Conway. You funny man. I brings you here. Didn't I? Don't let your imagination run away with you, Mr. Conway. Let's go, then. The old church of St. Paul's Point. Going, Charlie. Back to town. Why this road? That's the way we came. What's the matter, boss? Don't you feel well? I'm getting confused, Mr. Conway. As an economic advisor, I can understand your interest in our sugar plantation, but not in our houses of detention. Your friend, Mr. Field, thinks I might find General Cornelius here. Here? Among the deranged? Ridiculous. I should like to see for myself. Unfortunately, things are not all that they should be. Is this where you keep the new arrivals? Accommodation is scarce. We have to place them where we can. Obviously. When you're ready to leave, you'll find me by the main entrance. He's been dead for days. They left me in here with him, with the rats. Who's that? I used to be. Matilda Smith. Get Colonel Hollyoak. But don't sit there, I want to see him now. We'll get you out of here. taking her where she'll be safe i'm really sorry about that you know my men didn't know who she was them just find her wandering about in the jungle and locked her up with the dead man <sighs> poor cornelius he must have died during the night he'd been dead for days really well rest assured he'll be given a funeral befitting his rank i see to it myself personally looking for me mr conway don't tell me you're charlie <laughs> you funny man mr conway why you keep don't recognize me Willow. 
Matilda. Say something, boss. Just thinking out loud. You liar, Quiller. Don't turn away now. You can't escape me. Did you say why not? Well, I'll tell you. Look at yourself. I've scratched you. Torn off your hair. We can make you do whatever we want. We can even kill you. Try it. Try it? Try what, Mr. Conway? Nothing. See you soon. I've sent for an expert, a priest I met in London who knows the area. So you agree with Matilda? I'm still keeping an open mind. Perhaps that's why I'm thought of as a target. For what? All sorts of tricks. Field knew Matilda and Cornelius were at the old church. He sent me there, but how can I prove it? Have you come across these before? They're all over the island. Mandrakes, otherwise known as Satan's Rose. <laughs> so you learn something all the time. Is something wrong? Just stay where you are. The television. Yes? Can you see an image? Not a thing. Am I supposed to? No. Well, at least we're getting somewhere. Right, so how about letting me in on it? Do you have any airtight laboratory specimen bags? Should be some back at the office. What for? This. I must be going. Where to? I'm going to see Gibbs. Give me the keys, Charlie. Take the day off. But the keys, Charlie. Here you are, Charlie. Happy Halloween. I will not run away. How can I? Would you vote for a man who fled at the first sign of trouble? If Field gets to power, it'll be the last vote they get. That's why I must stay here and fight. We can get you back in time for the elections. Promises. As soon as we can organize round-the-clock protection. And who exactly are we? You must have some idea. What would my supporters say if they knew I took your help? At the moment, we're the only friends you've got. Maybe. But the answer is still no. If I, if I left, it would be like giving in to them. It's living to fight another day for the people you really want to help. Mr. Gibbs, as president, you'll many times have to make a choice between your own personal pride and the good of your country. The question is, are you of more value as a dead martyr or as a live reformer? You're in the wrong profession, Mr. Conway. You should have been in politics. Your Mr. Gibbs arrived two hours ago. With the mandrake flowers? They're already at the lab. I put some pressure on. I'd like the results tomorrow morning. Any ideas yourself? Obviously something new, from its effect on me, certainly hallucinogenic. Well, it is possible there's been a breakthrough in the area of parapsychology. The harnessing of ESP and other factors. And with the right technical backup, a drug could be used with voodoo. I see. What about Field? Well, his description fits a West Indian, born in St. Peter, who acquired American citizenship. Underwent special parapsychological training the other side of the curtain. We've also been looking into Field's appearance in St. Peter with a sizable fortune. It seems that the money was put up for him. The sugar plantations bought for him. Right. 
As a matter of fact, it's been a good investment. Who would suspect a millionaire of being an agent? Who indeed? Well, it's an interesting concept. Subversion by parapsychology, cloaked by drugs and voodoo. We can't exactly point to a conventional villain. They must be laughing. Yes. Just get those mandrake flowers analysed. Why didn't your men stop him? It was an unscheduled flight. He's played straight into our hands. After the election, we'll have control. So he'll never be seen on the island again. Suppose he returns two or three days before. Then we resort to my methods. Lane and Conway are the immediate problems. I suggest we use the services of the charming Miss Matilda again. How long? There's nothing you can do but let us sleep. You must have patience and faith, Mr. Conway. Her own innate goodness will heal her sooner or later. No, she's still in a coma, but I don't see any problem in shipping her out. We'll have a doctor on board to accompany her. Flight? 125. Right. Now, cover for the hitman. Diamond. Inter-island holidays. Right. Out. You're just in time. Uh, first, I must call London. What kind of drug? Completely new. Developed for parapsychological effect. It renders the mind receptive to paranormal manipulation. And Field acts like some sort of hypnotic beacon? Possibly. What action is being taken? A marksman is being flown in from Washington this afternoon. Oh, the easy way out. It orders Quiller, and we've given our approval. So cooperate. Yes, sir. <laughs> She's feeling better. She's down by the pool. She woke up right as rain. Oh, that's great. We're shipping her out. Help me. What's that? Help me, Quiller, please. Who is it? I'm sorry. Do you always question an order? A bullet won't solve a thing. If you use your hitman and shoot field, they'll simply send in someone else. Then we'll have to kill him too. And the next one? Can you think of a better alternative? Turn the tables. Show that his power, if it exists, is unstable and can fail. How? By invoking the devil. Field believes in voodoo. He should be as vulnerable as his victims. What are you proposing, exactly? With Father Emerson's help, I believe I found the perfect weapon. A death talisman, known as the Witch's Ladder. Mr. Conway. Mr. Conway. It's easy to destroy simple people who accept the power of voodoo. The true test lies in destroying a person of an alien culture with faith, boundless intelligence, and formidable prowess.
Come with me. Quilla, come with me. Come on, Quilla. Come with me. Mr. Conway, I didn't expect you quite so soon. If at all. Sorry? Colonel Hollyoak is dead. Hollyoak? How? Well, let's call it self-defense. You've lost Field. Have I? Gibbs will win the election once we acquaint the people with the evidence. Mr. Conway, whatever you may have is purely circumstantial. Hearsay. The four Charlies, the effigies you made of Matilda and Cornelius, the video shots of you at Newstead's reception. Why didn't you use this evidence before? I'm waiting for the opportune moment. Like now? The only thing I'm not sure about is what you hope to gain. Money? Really, Conway? Idealism. <laughs> you flatter me. Then, power? A tiny island to rule as another nation's puppet? I thought you'd read me better than that. That was Hollyoak's dream. I just use their, how shall I put it, resources. Once I've consolidated my position, I'm going to play one sphere of influence off against the other. Hmm. Scarcely original. Take all and give nothing. And with our geographical position, we can do better than most. Your evidence won't stop me, Mr. Conway. And what about this? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's called a witch's ladder. It has nine knots, as you can see. Each knot denoting that the victim, in this case you, has been tied up in a spell. Nine spells, to be precise. The last one, death. Are you threatening me with voodoo? Is that why you're frightened? Huh, <laughs> frightened. I've allocated a minute for each knot, starting from now. That gives you nine minutes in which to release Matilda and surrender. You have no powers to... Weave spells? Quite right, I haven't. Eight and a half minutes. Then how do you expect it to work? My dear Field, didn't you know that the devil is like the shark? For the sake of a soul, he'll even eat his own kind. You tired? What? Lethargy. 
That's the effect of the first knot. And it should be manifest now. What were we talking about? Oh, yes, the devil. He has been invoked. And mercenary that he is, he's joined ranks with me. Invoked? By whom? Some agreeable voodoo priest. Lives in the Hot Springs area. I forget his name. The hyena man? Gaunt fellow. Old as Methuselah. I can fight him. Fifteen seconds. That should be the shakes. Now. Stable as a rock. Headache? No. You will have. The effect of the third knot. The fourth spell is acute chest pains. The fifth, paralysis. Then, disfiguration, dehydration, disintegration, and death. I won't be able to save you after the fifth spell. Time's running out. You might as well surrender. No! Then, I'll leave you to it. Okay, I give up. Break the spell! Just in case you change your mind. Where's Matilda? In the cellar. The keys are in that drawer. Start packing. You're going to America. And God help you there. Because the devil won't. Sheer hocus pocus. But it worked. Long live President Gibbs. He's honest. He might survive. And feel? He's going to be teaching your fellow countrymen all he knows about subversive parapsychology for many years to come. I'd rather thought that's what Lane had in mind. What are your plans in London, Miss Smith? I've already made arrangements. By courtesy of Erzului Fueda. Who? The Caribbean goddess of love. Oh, I see. Oh, I've, uh, I've bought you a present. What is it? You. But you don't have to worry. Unless the head drops off. 